Hello people, how are you? This is Anne, and I have a special guest with me today. This is my husband, Jim. Husband Jim is actually going to be doing my makeup today because it's our anniversary. And Husband Jim has himself a degree in theater arts and has done makeup and wardrobe for a long time. Now, I've done my foundation. I've done my eye primer. I've powdered the foundation. Other than that, it's all on him. Well, till we get to the mascara. He's got one hand that shakes so much he doesn't want to try the mascara. But he's going to be doing all the rest of the colors and the contour and all that other lovely stuff. So, I'm not going to be watching the camera too terribly closely myself at this point. And we may actually hear more noise from the dogs because nobody's sitting keeping them quiet. But, here you go. All right, Mr. Jim. Okay. Now, I'm probably going to be doing things that most of you would be running screaming from. But, it's the way I do things. And it has been a while since I've done uh, much street makeup, makeup. Especially street makeup. Uh, especially since my stroke. 12 years ago so yeah I'm a little rusty but special occasion so scrape some of the rust off and I usually work backwards I start with contours and highlights everybody else I've been watching the videos on starts with their eyes I'm old school <laughs> Now, like I did with the other day with doing the makeup and just playing with it and talking about colors and how I was putting it on, I'm not going to be worried and neither is he about brand names or anything else. We're going to talk about colors and placement. working with just a basic matte contour currently. Oh yes, and by the way, the hair, in case you notice, I am currently a blue-haired little old lady because my official 60th birthday has now come and gone a few days ago. And today, the 18th of September, is our 25th anniversary. We were trying to think of something interesting to do, and this turned out to be it. Right now, we're a little short on fun, so it's not like we're going to be going out anymore. Concerning my hair, our darling son did the color work for me, bleached it out, put two different shades of fantasy blue in. I've got a shade called Midnight Blue and a shade called Sky Blue. And went all the way to bleaching down to white before we started. Yes. My son, my son does this kind of more as a hobby than anything. He likes to help his wife out because she's, she's got a condition that keeps her from being able to do a lot for herself. So he's been learning this stuff. And I am happy to let him do it. I'll let him practice on me any old time. If you, in case you can't tell through the camera, the hair color came out gorgeous. It really sparkles in some way. Alright, I'll try and get some pictures. Okay. Contour! Oh dear. Container spiking. 
Do you need a fingernail? Uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this one as a bronzer. Yeah, technically this one's listed on the back as a blush, but because of the color on as fair my as my skin is, it works pretty well, pretty well as a bronzer. You know, over the years we've had real fun trying to find foundations that work with her complexion. She has very translucent skin. But I also have a rather mixed up heritage that puts all sorts of interesting colors into the translucent. I've got a lot of Western Europe, yes indeedy, but my family's been on the North American shores for quite some time and has intermingled with lots and lots of different people. So, so far that we've been able to trace down the easiest collection of base colors in our little family is I am part British Isles, part native from the Americas, and some African American. I may at some point go take one of those DNA tests. The main upshot of all of these collective people that I'm related to in some form or another. When I get very sick, instead of going pale and kind of bluish gray, I turn yellow. And I've been accused of having jaundice a few times because they're looking at me and going, but you're so yellow. And I'm going, okay guys, I am not your standard Western European. My family's been around for a while. We've got a bunch of different people in the family. It's like some of my cousins, you put a lot of my cousins together and it looks like the Rainbow Coalition. One of the solutions we used when he was still working at a theatrical supply is for my foundation. The closest match we could get was one of the Japanese shades because it had these really wonderful yellow undertones that go with it. And almost no red. Now, when I put on pinks, it really shows up. Let's and if, there's pink, if there's pink in a foundation, let me tell you how bad that looks. I always expected I should be wearing a foundation with pink in it. That's what I always gravitated towards. I mean, I've got pale skin and blue eyes, and I figured it should be pink foundation. I have discovered otherwise over the years. Now, at this point, I have absolutely no idea what colors he is attacking. Oh, he's going to surprise you. Ah. The main thing with looking at 
something where somebody is working with makeup is, you know, if you like the colors, it doesn't matter what brand it is. If you like the colors and can find the colors in a formula that you like and at a price point you can deal with, it doesn't matter what the brand is. You can make a look that you have found appealing by using similar colors. And once you get the technique down for applying, then you have a much better chance of just switching it up, change your colors. Use the same technique, but change your colors. Hush, Benny. That's our little dog. And he's very unhappy that, that he is not up in somebody's lap currently. He's being pity Now I gotta tell you, he did threaten me with clown makeup. He did threaten me with clown makeup when we were first talking about this and doing this video. And I reminded him Halloween is coming. If he wants to do clown makeup, he can wait for that. Well, it's all her fault. She said she wanted me to do something silly. Hmm. Not that silly. Uh, his fun right now is when we first started out together, yes, my eyes were hooded. They really were. But now they're hooded and crepey. And he hasn't done my makeup for anything in a real long time. I may have to dig out some of the silly pictures we've got of us, both of us in elf costumes with all the hair and the makeup and the wigs and the stuff. And the appliances like the funky ears. See what kind of foolishness we can make. Hi, Shmini. Go lay down, baby. He keeps running around, and our other dog. What? What are we doing? What are we doing here? You're just having too much fun with those pencil brushes. You want to learn a lot better than the equipment I used to have. What are you talking about? I've still got one of the brushes you sold me. Yeah, but back. 15 years ago when I was selling stuff, you didn't have as much variety. Well, yeah. That little fan brush you sold me finally died just about the time we moved here. That one's finally gone, but the little smudger is still with me. And the small fluff is still with me.
is I am layering multiple colors because some of these do layer fairly nice. It's giving me a nice effect. Nice. She did offer to let me use the shields for Fallout. But I've only had Fallout for one of these colors so far, which was the uh, last one I used, which is a gold. So just brush off a little sparkly there. And now comes the fun part that. I'm the nervous one about because I don't have as steady a hand as I used to. See? 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 He does things backwards. Now he's going to do my eyebrows. I'm going, how is he going to work out the frame for the eyes if he doesn't have the eyebrows? I've got to behave myself or he's going to screw my eyebrows up. I'll look like Mr. Spock. Uh, no, what was that one that uh, commented that uh, James made Angry Housewife? No, no, that was Toddy talking to James uh -huh. about the eyebrow that he had just put on Taylor. Yeah, it's like not carefully that the angry housewife look. If anybody hasn't seen that yet, James Charles showed up at Toddy's house and they just, and because they wanted to do drag makeup on Toddy's stepson, Taylor. And Toddy decided she needed James there because she hasn't ever really done drag makeup before. So she wanted an expert. I think that was the video that she released on the 18th. She and James Charles did a uh, collaboration in her studio for both of their channels. And Taylor looked adorable. The pink wig really, really just made the whole thing. So keep switching back and forth between the two eyes instead of doing one eye and then doing the other. I used to have a bad habit of doing one eye beautifully and couldn't duplicate it on the other side. So I had to start doing a, do a little bit here on this side, then do a little bit on that side. So I could get the two to match. But he's cute. Yes, I've called him cute repeatedly. And in a couple of weeks, we get to do his birthday. I will officially be 63. I'll feel it. Born three years 
years apart at the same hospital. We were raised in the same town with the same people and sites and stuff around. Some of our family members knew of each other all kinds of ways, and it was still forever before we met. Oh, let's see. Well, let's go to the scriptures. You sure you want to do that? Yes. I'll just okay. do the outside. I'll let you do the inside. Okay. So I don't poke you in the poop. Okay. since I've done this. And as I said too, some of the equipment has changed over the years. Pretty drastically for some of it. I first learned how to do some of this stuff using a toothpick and cream liner. Back in the early 70s. some of this subtle stuff is a little trickier for me because I'm used to broad strokes. Yeah. I'm going to let you finish that. finish that. But it's got the base in. my new favorite blush brush. It's got a nice shape to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one of the things that I got off of Wish, this little blush brush. Wish does have a few good things now and then. This blush brush is definitely one of them. Well, they just claimed it as a brush. I said, hey, it works. It was three bucks. I'm happy. And no, I'm not putting a lot on. Because... If you're a you don't need 
Yeah, I know. I've got plenty of bread all on my own. Yeah. do her lips but I picked out the color for that already so she gets to do the finish the lining and the lips okay this is where we are currently and what I'm going to do is pop off of here for just a few minutes and finish up the stuff and then come back and show you the complete and finished look I'll be right back Okay, and we're back. And I survived being off camera, too. <laughs> anyway, this is the finished look with all of the work that he did. And I've got my mascara on, and I've got the lipstick on, and I put a little dangly here and there on. And what we're going to probably do now is... <clears throat> Excuse me. We will be going to light some candles in the living room and maybe put on some music and maybe dance a while for our anniversary. And I'm going to say a pleasant good evening and be good.